Hey folks, Joel here from InsuranceAdjusterTraining.net. Today I'm going to show you how to put a closet or a pantry in my kitchen. First step is to go up and click my square brake tool in my toolbar. Then I'm going to bring my cursor out over my room and select one of the walls I want this pantry or closet to be pulled off of. At this point I'm going to left click one time on the wall. This is going to create two handles. Now, by putting my cursor over the handle that I want to pull and using my control key, I can create a closet. What I will do is I will hold the control key down, left click and pull, and a closet will begin to appear. Or you may call this a pantry since I'm in the kitchen. At this point, if I wanted to resize this room, I can by clicking the room and then using the handles to resize the room. Now, if I wanted to put a room on the exterior of my kitchen, I can quickly do that again using my square brake tool. I would go up and click the square brake tool, activating it, bring it down over again one of my walls, left click one time and my handles appear. At this point I will control, left click and drag, and another room will appear. The other way to use the square brake tool is to create alcoves. To create an alcove in Sketch, you'll select the square brake tool. You'll come onto one of the walls that you want to break. You'll left click one time. Again, you will see the handles. This time, though, you will not use the control key. All you will do is grab that left handle, in this case, top handle, since I made a mistake. I'm going to back up here, and I will just pull it out to the left, and it creates an alcove. Now I'm going to show you how to create an alcove using the same square brake tool. What you'll do is, again, select your square brake tool, come down over one of the walls that you want to put the alcove in, get your measurements close. If you can't be precise, it doesn't matter. You'll left click one time. Again, you'll see two handles. At this point, you'll put your cursor out over one of the handles you'll left click without using the control key and just drag it out the desired length that you want and this will create your alcove. This is how you use the square brake tool to quickly create closets, pantries, or alcoves in other rooms. I'll see you on the next video. left click one time. Again you will see the three red diamond vertex handles appear. Depending on which handle you grab will depend on how you break your wall. In this case I'm going to break it into a 45 on the left handle by left clicking and dragging it straight down. This is the quickest way to use the vertex tool inside of a room and it allows you to create angled walls. One last example of the vertex tool will be making a pointed portion of a room. I'm going to come up here and select my vertex tool one more time. I'm going to come to this left wall. I'm going to try to center it up best as possible. I'm going to left click one time and I'm going to see again the three red diamond vertex handles. At this point I'm going to left click the center handle and I'm going to pull it out. As you can see this allows me to put a different angle wall on this side. This is one of the quickest and easiest ways to create angles in a room. Thanks for watching. We'll see you